Hello, it's uh, Brian from Robotacy again, and today I'm going to introduce a big project that I'm going to do, which uh, hopefully will address several questions that have come up and several issues. I'm going to put it together in one really cool package. Um, so there's been questions about uh, how to hook up the the uh, TNC Arduino compatible board to, for example, DC motors. Uh, there's been questions about how to hook it up to, for example, uh, RC controllers, and even one which I think is uh, entertaining about how to hack into some old toys and such. And I thought I'd bundle it all together in one grand project, which will probably take me some time to do, but I'll um, do it, and uh, we can maybe enter in some uh, competitions and such. Uh, there is the uh, well, Penn State used to have the mini DARPA competition, which was every year. I think last year they didn't have it, but there's lots of other ones where we have to have a self-navigating robot that can then uh, travel around and find its way. And I'm thinking if you're going to go ahead and do something like that with a GPS-guided robot, you might as well do it in style. So, therefore, I introduce my Batmobile. So this is a uh, Batmobile that I picked up at a uh, flea market and it's originally designed for kids, it actually a small child could sit in here, and a DC motor and accelerator and uh, you could drive it around. I have a steering wheel off right now. A couple of years ago I did start to hack it up a little bit to see if I can make another robot but then it sat on a shelf for a long time, so let me show you where I am. Oh, and by the way, this is a um, Teddy Ruxpin. And a uh, Teddy Ruxpin is from the 19, 1980s. And uh, he took cassette tapes in his back here, and I have a whole set of these. And the cassette tapes would then play out, and on one channel, you would hear the audio, and on the other channel, you would hear, um, or you wouldn't hear anything. The other channel would be a serial commun uh, communication system that would robotically run its mouth and its eyes so he could tell your children's stories. I'm thinking that Teddy Ruxpin will be an ideal uh, driver for our robot once it's all done. So. Let me open it up and talk to you a little bit about what I've done. And then we'll talk about what we're going to do. I've already unscrewed the chassis. Okay. So it has a DC motor, which is ran on this particular one, I think it was 6 volts, which is perfect, we can deal with that, which drives only one wheel, all the rest of them are floating, and it has a, uh, originally there was a steering wheel hooked up to it, but I have in fact, a few years ago, put a DC servo motor on it, which allows me to um, steer the wheels. I think immediately, one of the first mechanical things that's going to have to happen is these wheels are going to have to be much narrower, so that way I can turn it in a much tighter turning radius than I already have. Um, so ideally what we want to do is to have a processor on here, like a TNT 3.1. We want to have some sort of motor controller. We're going to have some sort of a, a GPS guidance system a number of sensors so it knows where it is and how to navigate the, the field. Um, probably a couple of power supplies, one driving the, uh, the motors directly for the, uh, for the drive wheel. Probably another one for the processor. I'm a little bit worried about stall so I'm going to have those sort of separated. And ultimately with Teddy Ruxpin in it, He's going to need to have a um, MP3 player and probably then a uh, controller uh, which is running a serial 
which will allow him to be able to synchronize to the audio out. So it's a big project. It covers a lot of different subjects. And what I'll try to do is uh, post things as I do it and display it. And maybe we'll get someplace with it. Uh, the goal is to have it up and running um, probably by April 2014. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed the introduction, and I'll see you soon.